Yo, what's up, y'all? Um, this is a video request, response. Um, one of my subscribers asked me, you know, hey, knowledge, since you're in the um, music industry, why is it that artists who are actually talented don't get deals, but artists who are not that talented seem to get all the deals, get all the money, um, you know, basically get all the promotion and get the stats what we would consider you know rap or hip-hop however you want to call it and um you know I thought it was a um, interesting question I get asked that a lot you know within my personal life from you know my associates or friends or whatever and you know basically the answer to your question is you know the the music industry especially I would say with hip hop, record labels are looking for, I would say, artists who can draw a fan base. You know, it's not, the game's changed so much. It's not just about who's talented. You know, and with record sales declining, a lot of record labels don't want to take the chance on new artists. You know, you might have somebody who is like the next Lauren Hill, you know, as, as incredible as she was. And I would say still is. Or the next Nas. Or the next um, Jay-Z. Or the next Tupac. It might be somebody with that level of talent. But because they don't have the fan base behind them. Or they don't have, um, I would say, the the internet, social media style. They don't really have a buzz kicking for them. They just have talent alone. A lot of record companies don't want to deal with that. Because what that means is that. You're basically coming to the table with nothing. You know, so that means you're talking about more promotion. You're talking about um, spending money into an artist that you have to basically get their buzz up. And, and, and not necessarily create, but you have to build them a fan base. Which sometimes takes a year and a half, two years, sometimes longer than that. You know, we take, uh, you look at somebody like The Game. You know, The Game was signed to G on it before all the little drama popped off. But Game was on Interscope for about three years working with G on it. But they didn't put him out until, I believe, what was that, 2005? But he was with G on it in the whole Interscope camp for three years before he even really got that spotlight. And that's because they were trying to build his brand or they were trying to get him that fan base. Um... Have them do more shows. Have them do more features. You know, get on mixtapes. Kill that. You know, it, it, it's not just about talent anymore. You know, it's about can this artist actually generate money and generate revenue. Because that's what the record companies are looking for. You know, they, some of them want to have artists. But at the end of the day, it's a business too. And you do want to make some type of profit. On the other hand, you have a lot of record companies that basically don't know anything about hip hop. You know, basically they they saw this as an avenue to make some money. You know, you have a lot of Jewish people who run these record companies and they don't know anything about hip hop. They don't care about the culture. They can't tell you who was uh the first rapper or the first DJ. They can't tell you none of that. They know bits and pieces, but they had the money to invest in the business which in return gave them control over the business. And you have a lot of these people who run these companies, like I said, don't know anything about the culture of hip hop, nor do they care. So they'll take somebody like a, uh, you know, a, a buffoonery type of rapper that, you know, might have a little internet buzz, you know, talking about bitches or popping bottles or, you know, they, have, they got the whole... Uh, drug dealer type of image but they have a little buzz behind them so they'll put the coon buffoonery type of artists out there because they feel like okay this is something that um, is not too serious it's not uh, talking about substance too much it's something that can be relatable to everybody you know they they, they see black folks cooning and buffooning the club you know uh, talking about uh, Popping bottles and shit, knowing damn well you better can afford to pay your rent. But yeah, you in the club popping a three hundred dollar bottle. You disrespecting your own women. You you acting like money is the only thing that has value in your life. So they're looking at that, and then they're looking at it from a white person's point of view. 
white people don't care about none of that black power. Uh, I want the black people to rise. Self-respect. You know, I, I'm just keeping it real. They want to party. They want to have a good time. They just want to hear, you know, whatever type of rhyme. But it's all about the beat with a lot in. Not all white people or people of different ethnicities. But for the most part, especially those people who just like rap, it's different between loving the culture of hip-hop and just liking rap music. That's two different things. But we have a lot of people who just like rap nowadays. They can't tell you anything about the culture. But you have those type of audience, and then they'll look at it like, okay, well, I could put somebody out there, for an example, uh, Shorty Low, or uh, them franchise boys, or, you know, artists like that, or somebody like a soldier boy, somebody who is in the middle that can bring in not only the black audience, but bring in the white audience, too, whether it's selling out the black community or it's making black folks look terrible in this country. That's the way they're looking at it. They're looking at it. They can profit off of both sides. So, you know, just like I said before, if we want to change a lot of this stuff, we just have to stop supporting it, you know, and I feel like a lot of the artists, which is start you starting to see now, they're starting to become very independent. They they don't they're not looking for a record. They're looking to start their own thing or just be an independent artist. Now sometimes that's good. That works for some people, and then sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on what type of artist you are and where you're trying to go with it. But you know, within the next. 10, 15 years, you know, record companies might not even be that pony. It might all be all about having an independent company or being an independent artist and pushing your own stuff on the radio or getting it out there. But in return to that, you have to realize that that costs money. So a lot of times independent artists don't have the money to get their, their record on the radio or get the spins. You know, it takes money to make money. So, you know, that's basically how I can sum up your question and another thing I want to add is worth ethnic you know you got a lot of artists who don't really talk about shit um, basically cooning buffoon somebody like uh, you know I would say a Lil Wayne I don't like Lil Wayne you know I think he does have some rapping talent but as far as his music I don't mess with but Lil Wayne's worth ethnic is bananas we look at him especially two three years ago that guy was dropping you know, damn near five mixtapes a week. He was crazy with his worth ethic, but then you have somebody that might have more talent lyrically or creatively more than Lil Wayne, but they don't put in the work. They don't have that hustle. They don't have that grind like somebody who might not have as much talent, but they have that ambition to get their music out there. So that plays a big part into it, too. You know, you can't have a talent. Or you're sitting on a gold mine, but then you don't want to pump it. You don't want to do the necessary things you have to do to get your music out there. We have so many avenues to get music out. You got the Internet, which is the, the main source. You got the streets. You can do shows, you know. Instead of going to the club and, you know, trying to uh, dance up on some, some, some woman big ass or something like that or grabbing her hips, damn, and trying to have sex with on the dance floor, why don't you network? Get in good with the DJ, have them play your joints. A lot of times you got A&Rs, you know, you, you have um, managers, you have people who work at these um, record companies that you can get your stuff to, you know, just, just you know, mingle with them. You know, it's not always what you know, but who you know. And, you know, I can't stress that enough, but, you know, that's basically what I can say to, you know, to answer your question. You know, it, it's a combination of things, but, like I said, we just need to get the, the control back from our culture. We got to stop letting other people dictate what's hip-hop and what should be played on the radio. On the flip side of that, with the whole radio thing, a lot of you guys think what's being played on the radio, what's on MTV, or what's on BET is the definition of hip-hop. You have a lot of independent artists out there that make great music that you guys are just too lazy to go out there and look for. If you start supporting these independent artists and these people who are making good, great, and creative music, then... You won't you won't look at just the people who are on the radio as being a definition of, of hip hop. Just because they're out there to the wide range of audience doesn't make, doesn't necessarily mean that's what hip hop is. Hip hop is 
you know, the cat that's in his basement right now writing a rhyme. Or the or the cat that's on the bus early in the morning on, on the way to work writing a rhyme in his phone or you know on his journal or whatever. That's hip hop. It, it's a culture, it's everybody. It's not just what you see on the radio and you know a lot of this coon and buffoonery and even some of the dope things, you know, that are on the radio now, like, you know, for example, Kendrick Lamar. I think he's great. You know, he's one of those guys who are bringing that are bringing back the essence of what hip hop really is. But um you know, I hope I answered your uh, question. Uh, for you guys that have any hip hop questions for me or whatever, you guys know I'm a diehard hip hop fan. You know, I love the culture. I don't just, uh, you know, work in the industry or whatever just for the paycheck. I actually love this culture. I've been loving hip hop since I was in Pampers. So, um, you know, if you guys have any questions or whatever, hit me up. Give me some video topics. Um, that's it. Y'all give me y'all feedback on what y'all feel about the state of hip-hop right now. I'm out. Peace.